What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Ripping Packs. It's Thursday. And what do we do on Thursday? This is it. This is the answer. Thanks, Doc Brown. We get into our DeLorean and we go back into time. We're gonna go back to 2018. We're gonna go ahead and get some baseball cards and we're gonna get back into the DeLorean. We're gonna come back, we're gonna come back here right now. And guess what I got on my trip back to 2018? Four packs of 2018 Pro Debut Baseball. That's Hunter Green, local uh, SoCal boy, right on the cover there. And uh, went to uh, Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame. Have video of him. If you've watched my show before, you know that. You would have seen some highlights. But we got four packs, eight cards. We're gonna open them and we're gonna see what we get. Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, four packs of 2018 Pro Debut minor league baseball cards. If you see my show, if you watch this channel before, you realize I'm a minor league guy. Well, in a good way, not in that weird, like, creepy way. But yeah, I love my minor league baseball. So that said, we're gonna open up four of these. Uh, we have eight cards per pack, and I don't know, we're just gonna open, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna see what we get on Throwback Thursday. Hey, but before we open any of this, go into the future and press that like button. Press that subscribe button and press that notification bell. You'll feel good about the choices you make in the future. I guarantee you that. All right, here we go. First pack, pack number one, 2018. Eight cards per pack, pro debut. We're looking for uh, base card parallels, orange, green, black, red, image variations, um, Ben's Biz inserts. Uh, this Make your own, we, we, autographs one out of 18 packs. So hey, we might pull an autograph, you never know. Ripping packs, three, two, one, let's go. All right, pack number one, we have got Glaber Torres. That's a nice way to start it for the Scranton Wilkes uh, Scranton, Scranton Wilkes Bear Rough Riders, the Yankees then AAA affiliate. He's had a nice little career, not so much last year, but he's definitely he's gonna be he's gonna be good. He's fine. Quinton Holmes, his pro debut card for the Arizona League Indians, uh, outfielder for them. Uh, they play out in the small town known as uh, Goodyear, Arizona. They play at the spring training complex. Check out the big brain on Brad. Then we have Blake Enlo, a pitcher for the Gulf Coast League Twins, pro debut as well. They are in Fort Myers, Florida. Then we have JJ Matavik of the Tri-City Valley Cats. I want to say they're then of the Astros. They are in the new, uh, they were in the New York Pin League, now they're just a wood bat league. And they're actually suing the Astros and Major League Baseball because of the contraction. Then we have Scott Kingry with the minor league baseball leaps and bounds with the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, now the Phillies. Utility guy, this is a scrappy player. He's going in the insert pile because they actually have some. Then we have Matt Manning, pitcher for the West Michigan Whitecaps. He's uh, the Tigers organization. Uh, he's, a, he's one of their top pitchers. They actually got some pretty good, uh, pretty good arms that are coming up to Detroit. That's going to be in the hit pile. Then Ian Anderson for the Rome Braves. You could take a wild guess what team they're major league affiliate of. He actually uh, pitched for the uh, for the big club this last year during the COVID season. And the last card in the pack is Leote Tavares for the Hickory Crawdads. And I want to say they were the Rangers organization. Yes, they are. They are with the Rangers. They are. Well, they were in the Carolina League. I think they're they're still at that level, but name, but I don't know what league they've changed it to. So that's pack number one. Serviceable, but will pack number two give us some goodness? I mean, we got a couple major leaguers in here. That's already a bonus because, you know, minor league baseball guys making up the big leagues. That's kind of what you want, right? Am I right? That's right. Let's do it. Pack number two. We got Brandon McKay. Nice. Going into my PC with the Hudson Valley Renegades, the uh, Tampa Rays uh, uh, affiliate in the New York Penn League. That's actually pretty cool because, again, I don't have this card and he's in my PC because I just like the guy. I like those two-way players. Then we have 
Jaron Kendall for the Ogden Raptors with his pro debut. Ogden is the Dodgers, well was the Dodgers, uh, short season A ball affiliate uh, in the Pioneer League, which doesn't exist anymore. The one in my PC as well. Evan White, pro debut for the Mariners. The Everett Aqua Sox in the Northwest League. Now the uh, actually advanced A ball league for the Mariners. Pretty cool. He actually won a gold glove last year, so that's a definite hit. Stuart Fairchild for the Billings Mustangs. They're the Reds uh, rookie league affiliate in the Pioneer League as well. Don't know much on the guy, so I can't give you any dirt. Sorry. Then we have Adrian Morhan for the Tri-City Dust Devils. They're in that same league as Everett. He actually got to uh, pitch some in the big leagues this last year, so that's definitely a nice little hit. Uh, Tri-City is in the Northwest League, and they're now full season, uh, short se full season, short season A ball for the Angels now. Then nice Juan Soto for Hagerston, Hagerston Sons. Then the A ball affiliate for the Nationals. That's a nice definite hit. Then Mickey uh, Moniak, outfielder for the Lakewood Blue Claws. Uh, he was actually the number one overall pick, I want to say, in 2016. I could be wrong, but I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure 2016. Um, he finally got a call up to the big leagues last year, so he's developed properly, but kind of underdeveloped. But we'll see what happens there. Um, Lakewood is actually a suburb. It's a small town in, in the Jersey Shore. I actually have a show I'm trying to get off the ground. Uh, I mean, I shot the uh, sizzle reel there. But I know that means nothing to you out there, but Lakewood's a cool little town. My wife's family's from that area. Um, yeah, fun times for all. And the last card of the pack is Brett Honeywell for the Rays. That, uh, yeah, picture for them. All right, got two packs left. So far, I mean, honestly, we've done all right. The Juan Soto, I know it's not a rookie or first card or anything, but it's nice to pull a uh, player like that because he's pretty good. Pack number three. We have got... Joey Morgan, catcher, pro debut for the Connecticut Tigers. They rebranded last year to the Norwich Sea Unicorns, and they never played because of contraction and COVID. So what happens there? I don't know. Then we have Nick Allen, shortstop for the Arizona League Athletics. You can, again, take a guess what uh, major league team they're affiliated with. Jacob Heather Heatherly uh, for the Arizona League Reds. They play in Goodyear, Arizona. Sean Murphy, catcher for the Midland Rockhounds. Now, the thing about Midland, if you didn't know, is they are the AA affiliate. You wouldn't tell from the colors, but they're the AA affiliate for the A's. They uh, are in the Texas League. And he's Sean Murphy. He's a catcher. He's in the big, so it's a, it's a hit. DJ Peters, outfielder for the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes for the Dodgers. Actually saw this guy play in spring training a couple years ago. He's pretty, uh, he's got some pop in his bat. Thing is, the Dodgers are loaded. So they have lots of talented players. Going in the PC though. Then we have Josh Ikaimi, first baseman for the Portland Sea Dogs, double A affiliate for the Boston Red Sox in the Eastern League. That's probably still the same. So actually never heard of this guy. He's going to my PC, but I don't know who this guy is. Tim Tebow, hmm. I wonder who he is. It looks like he uh, wears his hat like a left-handed pitcher there, but come on, we already know the story there. He actually played at AAA um, last year, so we'll see if he continues to advance. I don't think so. It's a hit because it's Tim Tebow, and the hobby still thinks his cards are worth something. Then Ronald Guzman, first baseman for the Round Rock Express. Then the, and now, now they are as well again now, the uh, AAA affiliate for the uh, Texas Rangers. And he actually played in the bigs. He has been playing in the bigs. So pack number four, our last pack, of 2018 Pro Debut. You're gonna gift me with the wonderful player known as Keston Hira. Okay, that kind of worked actually. Arizona League Brewers. Uh, and if you follow the channel, you know that I shot high school footage of him for the draft, um, didn't actually get, ended up getting drafted. I'm going to play for uh, UC Irvine, and now he's in the Milwaukee Brewers, uh, plays for the big for the big club. That's actually a nice, uh, that's a nice hit. I mean, and he's a good kid too. His family is really nice. I actually, got to meet his whole family. But yeah, good kid, and it's a nice pull. Pro debut card, so it's his first card. Then we have Adam Hazley, pro debut for the Gulf Coast League Phillies. 
Again, Gulf Coast League, that would be in Florida, and they play in Clearwater, more than likely. Then we have Toastman for the West Virginia Power. Okay, I follow minor league baseball enough. I honestly don't know who this guy is, so I'm taking a guess. He's a concession guy who throws toast. Could be wrong. Could be way off. Maybe he's just the guy who generates toast like to to the fans of West Virginia and, and they're there in Charleston by the way they were the Mariners a ball affiliate I don't know toast man that's a insert turd there we oh nice yes! 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 we got an auto uh, drew Ellis third baseman for the Hillsboro hops that's actually kind of cool Hillsboro Hops, if you do not know, are the uh, now the Northwest League uh, high class, I mean high class league affiliate for the Diamondbacks. But Hillsboro is a suburb of Portland. Portland lost their team. Long story, because uh, I worked for the team at the time. Portland lost their team to Tucson when they tried to sell the team because the Timbers, the major, the major league soccer team, um, yeah, it, it's a cluster f of a mess. But anyway, Hillsboro is a suburb of Portland, and a couple years later, Hillsboro got a team. So. Yeah, we got a guy. We got a guy. Plays for the Diamondbacks. I don't know where he's at right now, but hey, it's cool. It's his pro debut card, and that's actually that's a hit. Tristan McKenzie for the Lynchburg Hillcats. He uh, pitched for the Indians this last year. Actually, I want to say Lynchburg was part of the Blue Jays organization, but I don't know. But either way, he's pitching in the big leagues for the Indians now. That's a hit. Ronald Acuna, another hit. Gwinnett Braves for the uh, Gwinnett, they were now the Stripers, but then they were the Gwinnett Braves. They had a rebranding because Gwinnett is like Portland to Hillsboro. We're talking about 30 minutes from what I gather away, and a lot of people got confused at the point going to the Braves game, but which game are you going to? The Atlanta Braves or the AAA game? Yeah, so they had to rebrand it. That's a hit. Chris Shaw, outfielder for the Sacramento River Cats. Uh, then I want to say the A's organization, but it could be the Giants at that point, because they're, they're now the Giants AAA team. Um, yeah, Sacramento in the, Port in the Pacific Coast League. And the last card of the pack is PJ Conlon for the Binghamton Rumble Ponies, the AA affiliate for the New York Mets. Don't know who the guy is. But hey, I mean, honestly, that was, we got an autograph, which, you know, one out of 18, I got open four packs and I got one. Got some PC hits, that was great. You know, got a Cunha, got a, you know, got a Juan Soto, got two of the youngest guys in the game. That's pretty sweet. I'm. Pretty happy with that. Got a Keston, got got some big leaguers. You know, we did pretty well there. I would really, uh, I'd say I'm pretty happy with this pack. I mean, with the packs that we that we pulled here. Got some prospects, got some good guys. But we, I mean, we got some of the bright young stars of the game right here. And, you know, you can't go wrong with that. And an auto, and a Scott King answer. and come on, what's cooler than friggin' Toast Man. That's right, Toast Man for the West Virginia Power. I mean, this just made my week right here. Toast Man, dude. It's friggin' Toast Man. Question is, does he use Wonder Bread or does he use Oro Wheat or what kind of toast? Do you prefer wi uh, white or wheat or rye? I'm a sourdough guy myself, so we'll see what happens with Toast Man here. Maybe I need to send this away to get him, get him to sign it. But, um, little known fact, West Virginia Power um, is a team that doesn't exist anymore either. Yeah, thanks to contraction. So, way to ruin it, Major League Baseball. Way to ruin my day. Yeah, anyways, there you go. You got some cool cards, you got some cool stuff, you got a cool dude named Toastman. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank you again for watching Ripping Packs. Uh, be sure to um, throw some toast, like Toastman does. Throw some toast at that subscribe button. And after it comes back and it's been burnt, you're like, put it in the toaster oven, do it some more, and throw it back and make, hit the like button. And then when they, you know, crumbles and turns into, uh, turns into, uh, you know, the, the croutons for your salad, freshly take another fresh piece of toast bread, put it in there, toast it, and throw it at the notification bell. And then you can just walk away and say, dude, I'm done wasting food. I'm gonna leave that for the ducks. That's right, you will. Thank you again for watching Ripping Packs. I will see you tomorrow with a friend. That's right. Friends with Friday, uh, Friday with Friends is back. And we're gonna have one. He's a friend. Believe it or not, I actually have friends. It's crazy. I know. 
Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.